Hey there, Museum of Science and Industry folks. Welcome to this Museum of Science and Industry video. My name's Austin. I'm a facilitator here at the museum. And what you just saw up there is our Tesla coil. So a Tesla coil is a device that can transmit electricity wirelessly. It actually creates a huge electrical field that you can even use to power certain electric devices. Now, it was invented by a gentleman by the name of Nikola Tesla, who was fascinated with electricity. He was super interested in alternating current devices. That's a special way of getting electricity from one thing to another thing. But he also did some experiments with wireless electricity and wireless technology. So if you're a fan of any wireless technology, you have Nikola Tesla to thank. Now, how it actually works. Up in that center ring area, there's a little dome that you might have seen. That dome is what you would call a toroid. And a really intense electrical charge is building up in the center of that toroid. That charge is about 1.5 million volts of electricity. And the thing is, that charge is so strong that when it's released or allowed to discharge, it generates a really intense electrical field. And the air around it is actually broken down. It gets ionized and becomes a conductor. That means that electricity can travel through it really easily. And because the center ring, that toroid, is really positively charged, that's the sort of way that the voltage is built up, and the rings around it, we call those grounding rings, are negatively charged, they really, really want to go, all that electrical energy wants to go from that central toroid to those grounding rings and not all crazy and out and towards us. But what that means is that you get a really big discharge of lots of bolts of electricity zapping from the center ring to the outer rings. Now, the super cool thing is that you can actually change the amount of energy or electricity that's running through the Tesla coil. And if you were listening, and you really didn't even have to be listening closely, you'll notice that it made that really powerful zapping sort of electrical noise. Now, that's because when all of that energy, all of that electricity is moving, it's actually causing the air around it to vibrate. And you can make it vibrate at different frequencies depending on how much electricity you're sending through it and where those grounding rings are and how the Tesla coil is built just in general. But basically what that means is that you can have bolts at different frequencies and you can make songs singing Tesla coils. If you go look over on YouTube or really anywhere where there's videos of Tesla coils doing this stuff, you can see all kinds of songs being played using the electrical transformation of energy. This device is called the pickle. This is a little bit of how we actually get the Tesla coil to fire off during our Tesla coil shows. So if you look right here, we got our knob, we got our button. Those are two main things we're using. Right now, our knob is off and then when I turn it to armed, that allows electricity, that allows an electrical charge to start building up. It's armed, we say. That toroid is building up a charge. And then when I press the button, it allows that electrical energy to discharge into those negative grounding rings I was talking about earlier. So right now, it's off, as you can see. I'm gonna turn it to armed. Our little light is coming on. And then I press the button. Are you ready? One, two, three. And there you go. So it's also pretty important when you plug this device in, you'll probably see somebody at the museum running up and plugging it in and waiting and making sure that it's on right. But yeah, that's about how the pickle works. So if you're ever at the Museum of Science and Industry and you're in science storms and you see somebody holding this very eagerly, that's probably a good sign that you wanna cover your ears because the testicle is about to go off. All right there, museum folks, we're gonna do a little bit of a demonstration for you to show you how this Tesla coil creates an electrical field and can generate a current that runs through electrical devices. So Nikola Tesla's aim with this, he did a lot of work with alternating currents, uh, another type of electricity, but this is a wireless transmission of that current. So basically you could power on devices like this fluorescent bulb without actually having them plugged in as long as that Tesla coil is on and running. So we're gonna see if we can get this up and running, if we can get a light to go on in it as we turn on the Tesla coil. Are you ready, Daniel? All right, let's do it. One, two, three. Eh? So 
it's all right if you're a little bit disappointed. So one of the things we learned from the Tesla coil and its invention is that for 1.5 million volts of electricity, we're not getting a whole lot of bang for our buck in terms of electrical field. We were absolutely able to get the wireless, uh, to get the bulb on. Wireless transmission of electricity is absolutely possible. But for 1.5 million volts, our light wasn't super bright and it wasn't even super stable. It was actually flickering a little bit. Now, that doesn't mean that Tesla's invention was a failure. In fact, to the contrary, he absolutely proved what he set out to prove. It just means that commercial Tesla coils aren't something that we see in our homes here and now, right? You don't have a Tesla coil hanging out in your house. But a cool fun fact, the wireless transmission of electricity is now something that is commercially available, something you might even use. It's kind of new, but if you've ever used a wireless charger, that is a small device that is generating electricity and transmitting it to your device, probably your phone or some sort of controller, and it's doing that without wires, using the same principles, using the things that we learned from Nikola Tesla's invention right above us. So yeah, that's a little bit more about the Tesla coil, how it works, what it was designed to do.